Hello. <coughs> I'm so sick. Hello, everybody. Let me get all of it comfy. Let's show you around the house. So I'm just gonna like, I'm honestly just gonna wing it, like, which is basically what I do with like literally anything in life, you know, when I was, I mean, I planned this, but also it's like, you know, I was kind of like bored one day. I was like, should I like go to Canada? So like, I honestly just wing everything. So that is why we're currently here doing the tour. So let me give you the backstory. Cause I know like, I don't know if I mentioned anything about Brio and you're probably like, what the hell is Brio? There's like three different staff housings for the mountain. They're called different things. So the main one that everyone stays at, like most people stay at, is called Glacier um, or Glacier. Glacier. That's the main big one. There's like seven buildings. It's huge, right? Um, that's in the village. And then there is <clears throat> West Side, which is where I was at, which is really nice. Similar style, a little bit bigger balconies, like dining rooms um, however west side is about a 10 minute drive 20 minute bike or like 15 to 20 minute bus ride away from the village so obviously most people work in the village that's where the mountains are and also in winter uh obviously like waiting for a bus kind of sucks and the traffic on the highway can get like insane so some nights like sunday nights i would be waiting I don't even want to tell you like maybe I've waited up to like two hours to get home before which is like one hour waiting for the bus to come because they obviously have to make their way back back <laughs> but on a good day it's like 10 minutes but that's rare in winter and then there's Brio which is like the best of both worlds it's like slightly out of the village just like a 10 minute walk to the village and it's the similar style to west side nice houses and there's also a couple rooms um, which is basically so a normal unit if you haven't seen my old videos or don't know and the most units are um, Two bedrooms and in each bedroom is two people So it's like a four-person unit and you share a kitchen and a bathroom and everything there are there is one building in Glacier That is six people in a room. So it's uh, sorry six people a unit. So it's three people three my god three bedrooms with two people each six people in one unit so not ideal and um, we were really hoping for a couple's room but obviously um we were not expecting to get brio or to get a couple's room we were just um hoping and praying um we had been on the wait list for a while although i i honestly don't think it's a wait listing i think it depends on like your job and your situation and everything like people that are here long term i think are more likely to get Brio, I think. I'm not sure how it works. But anyway, we were on a wait list for a long time and we went in there the other day to the housing admin and we said, hey bro, where are we at the wait list? And they said we are 16th in line. So we had kind of prepared to not be moving into Brio, at least not anytime soon. Like, oh, I just had to check that that was filming. Imagine that I wasn't filming. Have a car now. So we were like, you know what, if we have to, if we we're at West Side for summer, that's totally fine. We got a car, it's so easy to get around and we got bikes now too. We were just hoping that possibly by next winter we would be here so that it's easier to get around in winter. So then a few weeks after we found out we were 16th, I'm like just at work one day and checking my emails and it's just like, oh, Brio, hey, wanna move into Brio? Let me know, you can move in today. And I'm like, what? And I messaged her and I said, is it a couple's room or a four person? doesn't matter either way it's a yes and she's like it's a couples and I'm like oh my god let me help I am I had to take seven we just got a couples room of Brio well you're moving today like not obviously we didn't pack or nothing we didn't, I'm like we can move in today and seven's like holy shit I just had an energy drink yes let's move in today oh my god so I Get, have to leave work early, like three, go get the keys. He'd already done like one load of stuff. We just spent the whole night fucking moving our shit. And then the whole next day, like, so then it was my weekend, thankfully, thankfully. And then moved all our shit, cleaned our old house. And we were like all settled by Wednesday. And I was like, oh my God, we just moved house. We didn't even really have to say goodbye to Westside. I got so many friends there. I'm just like, gone. I'm leaving you. I got friends at Brio now too, but like, man, it was a whirlwind. Anyway, so this is the Brio tour. 
bang is the worst. This is my first one I've ever had. I figured they'd be okay, like not as good as Ghost or 3D, but is that meant to be grape? Oh, it's berry. Fuck, I hate berry. Why is it purple? So like I said, Brio is one big building, um, kind of like West Side. Uh, it's five levels, which is super cool. Uh, we're on, I'm not going to tell you what level because I don't want you to stalk me. Anyway, I live at Brio. I'll just let me tell you. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you. Well, I won't tell you, but I can't tell you. West Side, we were level four, a lot of freaking stairs. And honestly, they never get easier. Never, never, never. Like every day, I'm just like, <sighs> anyway, this place that we're living is less stairs. I'll just tell you that. Um, so that's quite good, especially for me getting the bike up the stairs, which is just like a whole other thing that we can't talk about right now. So you walk in and it's kind of like a studio vibe. So you like can see the kitchen and the lounge. And then we have like a bedroom and a bathroom, which is really nice. Uh, the kitchen is like fully equipped. Uh, usually people like leave their stuff, some of their stuff behind. Like cutlery and pots and pans and all that. So it's basically fully stocked, which is awesome. Oven, stove, everything works really well. The fridge was like freezing everything, which was super weird, but it's fine now, I think. Um, anytime there's like maintenance issues, you can just call them and they just come fix that, which is good. Uh, you also don't pay utilities, so like it's quite good. I'll show you later. We've got an air con, so like, yeah quite quite handy um and don't have to worry about the cost uh so the, yeah the kitchen is really nice and then the lounge got a nice comfy lounge got had a tv which is cool um yeah this is just where we like leave our bikes which is awesome just like all our random shit we don't have to worry about annoying our roommates because we don't have any we're in a couple's room life is good uh i don't know why i keep doing that instead my back hurts and every house that i've seen like in glacier as well has has this little nook where you can put your um uh jumpers and shoes and stuff because obviously that's like a common thing canada have freaking ten thousand jackets and boots and snowboards and stuff like that so that's quite good good space for storage um bathroom is well equipped very clean like the cleanest shower i've ever seen in my life let me tell you i've seen some nasty ones at glacier ours is very very good uh, no problems there. Actually, there's no problems anywhere. I'm like, I'm very happy with everything. Uh, then the bedroom, again, very good. Okay, let me just uh, switch the light on here. Oh, that's right. There is no light. There is a switch and no light. So that's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, bedroom, beautiful. Two single beds pushed together. Don't mind it. Got a nice air con. Got plenty of like storage. It's so nice just to have room like we did at Westside. But honestly, it's like, doesn't even feel like I'm living in soft housing. I live, I feel very upper class. Let me just tell you. Um, our outside view is not great. It's just like the car park, but like that is, it is what it is. Um, and again, like West Side and like Glacier, we have um, laundry facilities uh, downstairs. Very cheap, very easy, work quite well, which is quite good. We got bins, we got recycling, we got, we have a balcony, I didn't show you because it looks shit right now, but we do have a balcony. Uh, yeah, I have just no complaints. Uh, this place is beautiful. If you do get offered a, I saw a Reddit, I didn't read it. It was like, should I, I got offered Brio or Glacier. Let me tell you, it's Brio, just do Brio, honestly. Glacier is like, Glacier is not bad. It's just loud and very social and a lot of people and you're just really you're in the thick of it you're in the thick of it so um if you're like someone who wants to take it a little bit more easy definitely brio is the place to be um and you're literally only like yeah 10 minute walk to the village which is amazing we i would say i'm living in the prime the prime spot i'm so happy like this is, was our like not our dream i'm not gonna say our dream but like we've been wanting this for like a really long time especially in the thick of winter when we were just like just cold and annoyed at the buses and like there's no worse a feeling than sitting at a bus for 20 minutes and like every bus like you're like oh the bus is five minutes away oh zero minutes oh where's the bus oh Oh, 15 minutes away. Oh, delays. Oh, nice. Like, if there's no bus, just tell me there's no bus. Like, just don't even get, don't get my hopes up. Like, it's frustrating. Albeit the 
bus services are really good for Whistler. Like we're in the middle of nowhere and there's like buses every 15 minutes. So it is good, but winter was, winter was rough. Um, so I'm really, really happy here. And yeah, this was kind of more like a little update rather than just a tour. I'm sorry if you've like come here just to see what Brie is like. And now you're like, why is this girl just freaking telling me her whole life story? I'm sorry. This is just me. If this is your first time watching a video, welcome. Um, I word vomit a lot of random shit. I, I'm actually trying not to swear because I'm trying to get monetized. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to know anything else about housing, I have done a with a whist side. I've been hanging out with my New Zealander friend too much. If you want to check out West Side, I have a video on that. I'll post it in the description maybe. And uh, if you want to listen to me talk some more shit, I'm also I'll attach another video that I think you'll like because um, I like to talk a lot of shit. So thank you for watching. I hope. I hope this helps. I know when I was moving, there was literally no information. I looked up West Side housing like a million times. There was nothing, nothing. I think I'm the first person to ever post anything about West Side. So maybe I'll be the first person to ever post about Brio. Um, if I am, I hope you like this. Oh, also, if it, you have like a, a four person unit in Brio, it's basically the same thing, but like obviously bigger. And I think they, but yeah, they have a dining room, a lounge room, and then like two bedrooms. Um, and it's really nice. I've been in one and it feels, it feels a little bit more spacious than West Side, but similar style. So, yes, okay. I better go. I've got lots to do, um, people to see. It's summer here. It's beautiful. And yeah, I'm just so excited for winter and I'm so excited to be staying here in Whistler. And I'm so excited to, um, show you. So, all right. I'll see you around.